Everyone knows that the original Mario games are like a tortilla. They taste great, but they are flat and two-dimensional. But legendary Mexican chef Shigeru Miyamoto believed that a tortilla could be so much more. So he spent years developing a spread of brand new flavors and then did something crazy. Miyamoto had invented the burrito. He had invented 3D gaming. Unlike a tortilla, a burrito could stretch up, down, and north, and the flavor possibilities were now endless. This was an insane amount of new flavor, like customers had gotten used to eating a nice, flat strip of flavorless bread, but now they had meat and beans and rice and cheese and salsa and this f***ing rabbit. Miyamoto had basically invented Chipotle, and people were obsessed because Chipotle is amazing. But the new 3D didn't go unnoticed because a rival chef now appeared on the scene, Sonic. No, not that one. This one. Sonic burst onto the scene with a new Mexican restaurant, Taco Bell. He had already been making tortillas for years, but he wanted in on this new 3D cooking. So after years of work, he presented his brand new game, The Bean Burrito, Sonic 3D Blast. Oh wait, that one kind of sucked. But then he went back into the kitchen, and he came back two years later with a seven-layer burrito, Sonic Adventure. This one was actually good, and now Miyamoto had to step up his game to beat Taco Bell. But beating Taco Bell would take cunning. It would take strategy. It would take a vacation to Mario Sunshine. In a wild move, Miyamoto filled his burrito with tropical ingredients, fish and pineapple and mango and sand, and it worked. Critics loved it, and the customers flooded back to Chipotle. Get it? Now Sonic was up, so he returned with his biggest burrito yet, the cheesy bean and rice burrito. Wait, that one wasn't very good. But Miyamoto didn't care, because he now set his eyes on the ultimate dream of every chef to cook a burrito in space. This space burrito was the first one to introduce motion controls, which weren't always very accurate. Chipotle was crushing it, so Sonic had to fire back with the beefy Fritos burritos, Sonic 06. Wait, that one kind of sucked too. Okay, and then they did the beefy nacho griller. Oh no. And then the cheesy potato griller. And then the buffalo chicken nacho fries free. I think Sonic might be really high. By now, Taco Bell had gone completely off the rails, but not everything was fine over at Chipotle. Miyamoto's twin brother, Luigi Moto, secretly resented his brother for inventing 3D, so he formed a rival kitchen inside Nintendo and created a brand new Super Quesadilla. It, it sort of looks like it's 3D, but come on, a quesadilla is still 2D. Luigi Moto also resented his brother for naming things coherently, so next he made the new Super Quesadilla Wii, then and the new Super Quesadilla Wii U, then the new Super Quesadilla Deluxe U with extra hot sauce and a medium Baja Blast, plus, can I get a, a number seven? Plus, can I get three chalupas? Meanwhile, Miyamoto had fallen into a great depression. His space burrito had won every award possible. Where can you even go from here? How do you possibly make a burrito like this better? And quesadillas were fine, but 2D would never achieve greatness on its own. So he traveled back to his homeland of Mexico to reflect and left his four apprentices, Gordon Ramsamoto, Guy Fieri Moto, Binging with Babisha Moto, and Barack Obama to create Nintendo's next burrito in his place, Super Mario 3D World. Notice it has 3D in the title. That's how you know it's a burrito. Unfortunately, the four apprentices fought and bickered the entire time they cooked, and that's why this game is basically just about fighting your friends. Meanwhile, Sonic fired back with a Taco Bell movie, but sadly, the main character contracted E. coli. Meanwhile, Luigi Moto was getting tired of cooking quesadillas, so he opened up a taco bar called Super Mario Maker so people would make their own damn tortillas and stop bothering him. But back in Mexico, Miyamoto finally snapped awake from his 10-year meditation. The truth of burritos had finally come to him. To create the ultimate Mexican cuisine, Miyamoto must combine the flavors of 2D and 3D cooking, using the incredible range of flavors that a 3D burrito provides, while also incorporating the simple elegance of 2D quesadillas Miyamoto finally created. The Quesa Burrito, Super Mario Odyssey. Only possible with both 2D and 3D flavors, Quesa Burrito was the best burrito ever. And Taco Bell was finally defeated. So what does the future hold for Miyamoto's Mexican cuisine? Where does he go from here? None can say. Some think Miyamoto will just make Quesa Burrito too. Others think Sonic and Burrito at the Mexican games. Others think he'll cook a burrito in VR. But it's actually none of those things. The true answer, the true future of Mario's cuisine is...
Jim Carrey and Raid Shadow Legends at the Summer Olympic Games with extra hot sauce. And can I also get three chalupas? Yeah, it's